Hey internet, some of you might know I teach a college class part-time. May budget naman yung school, but the classroom projectors are old. Like VGA old. This is the only part of my life where I still use a VGA connector. And since no modern device has VGA anymore, I need a VGA to HDMI adapter which makes the connection very sensitive. Konting galaw lang, the projection cuts out. Which is why I was really interested when XGODY sent over their Gimbal 3 projector. I wanted to see what a modern projector could do if it was less hassle to use and set up compared to the old hardware I had to use. So most of this is about the projector for boring work stuff where I think it will be the most helpful but I will give my impressions of it for video watching as well. First things first, general impressions. It is very light, easy to bring around, straightforward to use even if you've never used anything like it before. Display out from a laptop is super simple, but you do need to use the included remote control to toggle it to display. Physical buttons on the projector itself that would have allowed you to toggle the display would have been helpful because remotes can get lost or broken, plus you need to find batteries for the remote control. You need the remote to navigate the interface though because this thing is its own self-contained device. It has Android, it has storage space for files, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So the remote is your way of accessing all of those features. Honestly, I was impressed that it's just not a display but it comes with all of these extras. There's a focus dial on the top which you'll need to use. Given how portable this thing is, you'll probably be bringing it around a lot and putting it on different surfaces at varying distances from the wall that you're projecting on. But again, the dial is very intuitive. It does have internal cooling but the fan is not noisy. I had no problems with overheating when I tried it. As mentioned, my interest in this is mostly for presentations and I was surprised that for something so small, it filled that role reasonably well. I say reasonably because my class size is around 30 plus students so we have a decent sized room. And if you're in the back, you might have trouble reading the projection. The Gimbal 3 would be excellent in a meeting room or small boardroom with around 10 to 15 people clustered around an oval. Not for rooms which stretch 4 to 5 rows back like my classroom. The screen was clear and sharp enough, still readable in low light conditions, but of course better with the lights off. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised given its small size and low weight by the quality of the output. Definitely handy for bringing out to meetings if you have to go out of office and you're not sure about the facilities of where you're going. Thankfully, it uses HDMI ensuring wide compatibility except for Apple laptops which are not big on ports in general. And I wish the Gimbal 3 had a USB Type-C port that it could receive input from so that it would connect simply and neatly to Apple laptops also. Granted, it's hard to get excited about PowerPoint. The projector of course can show more fun things like videos. It says it does 720p but for me, I rely more on how it looks than the actual or the supposed specs. And HD videos look Alright, like this will not replace your monitor or TV as your primary display for video watching. And to be fair, it's not meant to. It's meant to be portable, to be an okay option when you go places which would mean lugging around up screen is impractical. So we're talking sleepovers, outings, places for small group activities. Those are where you would use the Gimbal 3 and for that, video quality is alright. It's more fun watching as a group on a projector instead of everyone clustered around a small laptop screen. I'll end with the worst thing about the Gimbal 3 and the best thing. Worst things are the stock HDMI and power cable wires. They are way too short. Now this matters because longer wires would better allow you to find the optimal spot where to place the projector. But really short wires which have it chained to your laptop means that in turn it ends up being in a spot which is accessible to you because you need to have access to the laptop but perhaps not ideal for the best viewing distance between the wall and the projector. And the short power cord also means you have to factor in where you can plug it in. Longer wires would have been really helpful. But the best thing about the Gimbal 3 is its price. My personal estimate for how much this thing costs is around 6,000 pesos. Actually, the supposed regular price is more than 8,000. But currently, you can get it for less crazy for this projector which packs in so many features and its size makes it very portable. Very hard to go wrong at that price point 
with this product. It's not the best display either in terms of quality or in the size of its projection. But again, for this price, it doesn't need to be. It will fill in a lot of use cases. Again, mostly for work, but also when you just want to communally watch a video, the quality is decent enough for both of those things. So unfortunately, I still won't be replacing the projector which uses VGA, but the Gimbal 3 is a good backup. And if I were teaching smaller classes in a smaller room, I would definitely use it as my primary projector. Thanks for watching.